Yo, what's up? It's Green Hornet 5 here with. Yo, what's up? Fourth Prince here. And today, um, I got an Xbox One recently. Not here, but at my mum's. So I thought I'd do a little first impressions video. Um, it's really good. Um, Dad hasn't yet experienced. Yeah, I don't. Like anyone this. out there think I haven't got Xbox One? That's the Green Hornet's at his mum's house, so he has an Xbox One there. But we did think we'd just do a first impressions because you've been yeah. waiting for ages for an Xbox yeah, One. Yeah, since Christmas, well, when it came out, actually. Even then, some. Me at the moment, I'm just waiting for games and all sorts. And it's at the moment I'm kind of cool. But you are very happy because what? Yeah. So what games did you get? Well, when I bought it, I only got one game, which was Plants vs Zombies: Gun and Warfare, which is one of my favourite games. It's so good. It's unique. Graphics? Well, it's not really graphics because it's not based on humans, but it's still good. Yeah, it's um, still graphics. It's still graphics. I I I've also got which I have not played. Forza 5, Charles Fusion, and Killer Instinct. Oh, yeah. Um, I haven't played any of them. I've only played Plants vs. Zombies, Scarm Warfare, which is very good. The controller... Oh, the what, the Xbox One controller? The Xbox One controller is so much better than the 360 controller. It just feels better. It's nice and smooth, and the thumbsticks just fit my thumbs perfectly. Yeah, well, when you, like I've said before, when you get big, big clumsy thumbs like your dad, then you're going to be going, oh man, these thumb sticks are too small, but we'll have to see as well. It does yeah. look like a really good controller. I like the look of the triggers of it. And yeah, the triggers are so good. They're like, like when they vibrate, it's almost like they're fighting against your finger. Oh, right. Which you, is nice. Do you keep your games on vibrate? Oh, uh, yeah. Cool, cool. Um, so yeah, so Xbox One, what do you think of the actual machine? Because it's quite a big, bulky piece machine. of kit. Um, well, where I put my, X well, I had my Xbox 360, I had enough room for it, because it's not like it went in, like, on a, on a, on a cabinet or anything. It just goes on the floor. It's very good. Um, there are two ways to power it. Like, at the beginning, it says energy saving or instant on, so you choose, basically, what you want to do, like, energy saving, slow start time, and you have to wait for the updates, instant on quick start time and you don't have to wait for the updates but is that like st on standby and stuff? yeah 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 is that it's right? basically yeah. on standby um the only bad thing no is there any been the only bad thing yeah that's it i've encountered with the xbox one is making profiles i mean the security system on the 360 we've had talks about i mean know they're bad but the xbox one Man, even if you don't want an online account, you still have to verify emails. And when I was making my first account, I had to make my own Gmail account and then verify an email, and then that didn't work, so I had to do it. So, again. does that happen every time you sign in? Yes, because my got brother to sign he in. made an account, and he, I was like, do you, do you still have to verify your email? And he was like, yeah. So, yeah. So, so basically, you got to sign in and do your security details yeah. every single time. Even if it's so bad, Microsoft. not every time you sign in, just make an account. Yeah, but you'll have to do that when you make it start up. Yeah. But you have, every time you sign in, you haven't got to do the security jump through the security no. hub. So I was going to say because that's every like time you so sign bad, in, you don't have to do that. that. Would... Just when you're making the account at the beginning. Yeah, you'll have to do even that. Even if you don't have Xbox Live. Yeah. No, you're still. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean, but I can see that you have to make an account at the start. But as yeah. long as you haven't got to sign in every time you go on, and you and know, then you verify, yeah, 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 which you is don't ridiculous. Have to do no, that. no, that's just. Well, I would just go. That's I'm done. I'm done. Forget your Gears of War four. You can get you Halo five. I'm done. But yeah, well, then. Oh, the other thing connect. as well. That, oh yeah, connect. Oh, people were like, oh, connect. Oh, nee, what, what? I love it. The voice control is so cool. I haven't really played any games on connect. But the voice control, man, it just makes you feel like a boss. You're like, Bing, search, YouTube, or whatever. You're like, Xbox, go to, store. And then when you're like, turn off, yes. It's just Yo, I'm so just, cool. Me it's just the coolest. Yeah, yeah. You, me personally, I can't agree with my little man, the Green Hornet, on this one. I think that voice controls, and obviously with the uh, Connect on Xbox 360, a friend of mine, his girlfriend was going Xbox open tray and he'd go cancel Xbox cancel. So obviously you Xbox can't open turn a tray off. on it. No, one. no. Well, I'm just saying as a as a as a thing. You know what I mean? You should be able to open the tray. No. It's oh, so you you can do no everything. Tra there's no tray on the Xbox One. It's like a disc drive. Yeah, you just yeah. put the disc in and like take the disc out. 
I thought it was a tray. No? No. You just put it in and it goes... No, it doesn't go like that. <laughs> but I hadn't had any problems with my Xbox One. If you did have any problems with your Xbox One, then you might be like... You feel sorry for you. Because <laughs> <laughs> you might be like, oh, Xbox One sucks. Yeah, but, the, but do you like the voice controls. Like, yeah. something that I just... I just Makes you feel like Tom Cruise yeah, or like no, Minority no, Report. I just want, I've got buttons, I can push buttons. But anyway, so but another thing as well, there was no... There's no Avatar store on it. There's no avatar shop to buy things off, but you can customise an avatar. But the only customization things, unless you have an account, I think, where that will carry over your avatar. Maybe, I don't know, because I didn't carry over an account. Um, the customization store for the 360, not the store, but, like, if you don't have Xbox Live, you know what I'm talking about, like, where it's not, you don't buy things, it's just, like, the things you get for free, like, dress Yeah, up. normal, yeah, normal, yeah, just... The, the but normal. I can't believe they haven't got an actual advertised store. I'd like to, yeah. I'd like to know how much Microsoft or Xbox or whatever you want to call it has made over the years on just the Avatar store on Xbox Live, which would be interesting. So yeah, it'd be interesting. And uh, so, what games are you waiting for? What games are you really up for coming? Mirror's Edge Two, if you don't know already. I love Mirror's Edge One. My favorite song of all time is on that game. Love it. Great game. I'm waiting for that. Batman Arkham Knight because you know me. No Marvel in here. No <laughs> yeah, Marvel. yeah, yeah. We just say but that. <laughs> in Marvel's, this is connected. We, we, okay. we, we still can't get over that Marvel's a bit better everywhere. No, so everyone who voted for Marvel Marvel's Marvel's to go, defense, it's okay. X Men, the new X Men does look pretty. Yeah, it does look cool. Only because of Ice Man. But yeah, what was we? What was he actually talking about? Um, games you was waiting for. Games you was waiting for. Games, yeah. Uh, Batman Arkham Knight, uh, Mirror's Edge, Destiny. That looks pretty cool, especially with Bungie, the makers of Halo. The yeah. Or used to be, yeah. Yeah, it used to be. Well, they were the makers of Halo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, they ain't don't. makers of Halo no more. <laughs> it's all about the 343. Um, we won't go that far. Hey, man, watch it, man. Um, they got Quindle for um, like, we, we don't um, it. Other than that, um, the Diversion, yeah. yeah div I mean, Div Division. Division, Div Division yeah. not Diversion. Yeah, I'm the, oh, that's interesting for me. I'm yeah, interested in that. Um, the thing with Mirror's Edge 2, though, I think that the campaign's actually <laughs> kind of like a multiplayer drop in, drop out kind of thing. Yep. It's more of a speed game than a baller. Go, 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 okay. Sorry, we've got a... Do you want to say hi to everyone, Liana? Hi! Say hi. Cool, if you're going outside, don't go anywhere else and just... Yeah, you're just playing with the cats, are you? Okay, okay. Right, anyway, sorry everyone. But back to what were we talking about? Um... Um, yeah, what was we talking about? Yeah, we will. We, I think we nearly finished the video, actually. Um, yeah. We, we, um, it was just games you was waiting for. Yeah, games I was waiting for. Not many other than that. Um, but I will say... My Xbox One I got was pre-owned and it st was still working. So <laughs> that's good. You don't want to get a pre-owned when it goes pre-owned and it's broken. So it's probably no, best it was working because yeah, been... it was good. But the interesting thing is with the Xbox One, when they begun, the brand new Xbox One was like a hundred quid or dollars or whatever currency you use it was a hundred whatever's more than the PS4. But now from the game shop I go to, it's actually cheaper to get a pre-owned Xbox One than it is to get a pre-owned PS4. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Which is like, what? Yeah. yeah, but then that's maybe, I don't know, maybe we could have Xbox One's dropping the price, which is a good thing, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's a good thing, that. especially next month, if you didn't know already, they are releasing an Xbox One without Kinect. Yeah, yeah, which is what I'll be waiting for. But I'll be getting it not a lot longer after that. And we've got E three coming, that's what we were waiting for. Yeah, but anyway, E three's gonna be huge. Should we wind it up and do you wanna say goodbye yeah. to the people? Round out the video. Bye, see ya, whatever this has been, green on it. Five for three. And fourth prince. And we'll see you later. Yo, much love and peace.